So what are we thinking? Vlogmas? What do you think? Come here. Come here. I have an advent calendar, so I have something to do every day of Vlogmas. I got gingerbread blondie, creamy vanilla and spice tea for my David's Tea advent calendar today, so we'll see how that goes. Lucy's about to open all my days for you. What do you think, Lucille? You down for Vlogmas? You want that tape? You get that tape. Okay. Vlogmas. It's a big maybe. So Lucy's taking a nap right now, and I am watching a new podcast. She's on her third episode, and I know I've already talked about her on Instagram, but you, you should totally check out her podcast because it's so good, and I love it. Her name is Nina, and it's the Wool and Witch podcast. I took a little break so that I could tell you about it and also talk to you about something else. So uh, if you haven't watched Wool and Witch yet, you totally should. Watch her first three episodes. They're so good. The things that she makes are like right up my alley. They're super cool. Right now she's showing a cow with aliens on it. Yeah. Okay, anyway. I also wanted to tell you about um, dinner planning. So uh, when I was doing Vlogtober, a few people asked me to talk about uh, how I do my meal planning and I don't I don't like do meal planning the way that like meal planning is a term you know but I do plan out what I'm gonna have for dinner every week at the beginning of the week uh, so that I can go to the store and get everything for those dinners before the week begins uh, and I did that yesterday for the next week so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to have for dinner this week in case you're interested. Um, I kind of really like hearing about what other people are making for dinner because it gives me ideas. Oftentimes, not oftentimes, but sometimes I'll be at work and uh, on like a day that I haven't planned anything for dinner that night and I'm still thinking about it, I'll like ask all my coworkers what they're having for dinner to see if I can get ideas. Um, kind of strangely enough though, most of the time it's a question that really takes people aback. They're like, what? Why? I don't know. So. But here's what I'm having for dinner this week. So uh, last night was Saturday. It was the last day of November. And we had roasted chicken legs with mashed potato waffles and then also roasted sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Now, 
this was a really good meal. This had some Thanksgiving leftovers in it. For Thanksgiving, I went over to my brother-in-law's house and it was super fun. It was a really great time. He did a turkey with bacon on it. It was delicious. Um, and I did the mashed potatoes. So we took our leftover mashed potatoes home because they were in my pot. And uh, on Binging with Babish, which is another YouTube channel that I really like, he talked about making waffles with leftover mashed potatoes. So that's what we did last night. It was so just Google it. I think you should do it. It's freaking delicious. If you like mashed potatoes and you have a waffle iron, just do it. Just do it. It's so good. Um, also, I roasted, I bought two chicken legs, cut them into the drumstick and the thigh, and then roasted all four pieces. I uh, browned them in a cast iron pan and then put them in the oven. And then sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So recently on the uh, Quirky Monday Craft Cast, Kalisha, which is another knitting podcast that you should definitely check out if you haven't yet, Kalisha briefly mentioned that there was a debate at her house on Thanksgiving about whether or not Brussels sprouts should be eaten. And I have a strong opinion about this. Yes, I am in the pro Brussels sprout camp. Are you? Are you anti Brussels sprout? Well, the thing is, see, I think there's a thing. There's a caveat. Brussels sprouts, when made well, are delicious and wonderful and delightful and amazing. But when they're not made well, they are gross city. So that's what I'm saying. Just gonna leave it at that. Tonight, we're having grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. Tomorrow night, we're having tempeh stir fry. I love tempeh. It's so good. So good. Tuesday, we're having bean tacos. Taco is Tuesday night around here, in case you haven't gathered that from other vlogs. Uh, we do tacos on Tuesdays, and this Tuesday, we're having bean tacos. I will be making beans, like refried pinto beans from scratch, and we'll do hard shells, so we'll fry tor corn tortillas. Hard shell bean tacos. It's gonna be yummy. Uh, Wednesday we're having spaghetti and meatballs. You've seen me make spaghetti and meatballs. It's like one of my favorites. I do it as often as I can because it's good. I probably end up doing it once a month, maybe once every two months. Uh, and then Thursday is pizza. <laughs> None of this is surprising. Uh, Thursday is pizza. So typically I do a pre-ferment for my pizza dough. I make my pizza dough from scratch and many of you have asked if I can make pizza dough on the vlog and I didn't do it in vlogtober because I just never got to it. But I'm hoping to do it in Vlogmas, if I do Vlogmas. I don't even know yet, I'm still on the fence. Um, so typically do I, I do a pre-ferment according to the book Bread by Jeffrey Hamilton or Hamilton. It's my very favorite bread baking book. It's really, really good. And his pizza dough recipe is the one that I use. And It's trying to wake my baby up. Okay. So I typically do that recipe, which means I make a small amount of dough with yeast and no salt, let that ferment overnight, and then the day that I make the pizza, I, I make more dough. I add more flour, more yeast, and salt, and also water and olive oil. And uh, let that proof for a couple hours and then make my pizza dough. But binging with Babish, he says that he just makes a straight up pizza dough, makes the whole batch in one go, but without olive oil, and then lets it ferment in the fridge for three days. So I wanna try that this time. Squirrel, shh, this cat is weird. I love her, but she's really annoying because she's old. Come here. Come here. Come on, you can do it. It's squirrel. It's been a long time since there's been a squirrel appearance. Okay. That's it. Last week, we had stuffed squash 
I had acorn squashes that I stuffed with rice, wild rice, and sausage, and some vegetables. And then we had breakfast burritos, another one of my very favorite meals of all time. And then we had chicken fajita tacos, pizza, and on Thursday it just says turkey. That was Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm going to get back to watching this podcast and contemplating on whether or not this is actually going to be a vlogmas video. Because I might not do vlogmas. Let's see. So we just hung up the Christmas lights and the last fun thing we're going to do today a little later is to bottle our apple cider. We about three weeks ago picked the rest of our apples in the backyard and went and pressed them. We got, we filled up a 50 gallon trash can of apples and got five or six gallons of apple juice and we put five gallons of it in a five gallon carboy and have been fermenting it for the last two weeks and today we're gonna bottle. So that's our fermentation setup. It's in a five gallon glass carboy. It's got one of these doodads on the top which lets out carbon dioxide and doesn't let anything in. And it's been fermenting and it's time to bottle. So we're gonna do that tonight. I'll probably film a little bit of that. And uh, that'll be it for Vlogmas day one. If I'm doing it, don't know, we'll see. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.